Jack, how many times have I told you I'm Josh's favorite? Okay. Yeah, but this is unpacked with Jack. No, it's I'm unpacked do. with I'm Jack. You're not Jack. I'm, I'm, I'm Hey, hey guys, welcome to this unboxing, unboxing of, of the Fractal, Fractal Core 3300. 3300. This was supposed to be my unboxing of the Core 3500, but I guess Jack is being a doofus and coming no, in here. No, he is being a dingle hopper. This is supposed to be my unboxing of the 3300, a budget case with Excellent versatility. But not as versatile as the 3500. Yeah, that's the Babel. Whatever. Look, so the front of the case is plastic with a brushed aluminum look, two five and a quarter inch bays up top, and side vents to allow air to get in. You can remove it by pulling from the bottom. Then we can see that those vents are covered with foam dust filters and that there is a 140 millimeter Silent Series R2 fan hiding there. Or there's room for another 140 millimeter if you so desire. Or you could or also- there's also holes to mount two 120s or a 240 or a 280 millimeter radiator since the fronts are identical. He's right. On the top of the 3300, we have the usual assortment of the power button, reset button, hard drive activity LED, headphone jack, microphone jack, and two USB 3 ports. Further back, we have also mounting points for two 120 mil or two 140 mil fans. But the 3500 includes a 140 millimeter fan at the top, so. <laughs> Whatever, that's just more added weight. <coughs> Fat, fatty. <coughs> Moving to the rear of the case, we have a space for the top fans or radiator, whatever you want to put in there. Right under that is the motherboard cutout, and next to that is another 140 millimeter Silent Series R2 fan. Then, then you have seven PCI slots and the power supply cutout at the bottom so that the backs are the same. Nope! The 3500 has a fan controller right here. That's right, that's right. It's got three fan connectors and three speeds, sucka. Anyways, moving right along to the bottom, we have a nice a dust filter that covers both the power supply and the optional bottom mounted fan and four plastic feet. Now the sides of the case is where things get really interesting because the 3500 has a nice clear side window. Whereas the 3300 has another fan mounting point for extra cooling. Not as cool as a window though. Shall we move on to the innards keys? Mm, yes, we shall. Looking inside the case, we have a box of screws and zip ties and stuff, and a user guide and warranty information booklet. Now, both of our cases have a CPU cutout here and posts for mini ITX, micro ATX, regular old ATX, and E ATX as well. And both our cases have cable management holes. But mine has grommets. I love grommets. There is also a foam liner at the back as well as four foam posts at the bottom to protect the power supply. But you will notice that there is another spot for that optional 120 or 140 mil fan. So if you don't want to install a longer power supply like an, I don't know, AX1500i, you will be losing out on that extra fan location. Up top, as previously mentioned, we have room for either two 120 millimeters or 140 millimeter fans or a 240 or 280 millimeter radiator. And the five and a quarter inch drive bay up here is not toolless. You will have to screw drives in there if you want those. Now the 3500 has a proper drive cage here with four trays that can hold 3.5 inch or 2.5 inch drives. The whole thing is removable if you unscrew two screws from the front and four screws from the bottom. If you do remove it, you will have room for a 280 millimeter radiator there in front. Leave it in and you can only fit a 120 millimeter. Whereas you can fit a 280 in the 3300 all the time because instead of a cage, I've got a vertical hard drive stack that fits three two and a half inch drives and three three and a half inch drives. So basically you've got stacks on stacks of storage. And just like the 3500's drive cage, you can remove the vertical stack by just taking out three thumb screws. But keep in mind, if you do have stacks and stacks of hard drives on the vertical tray, your radiator can only be 30 mils thick in the front. Jack, don't forget, there are two SSD mounts on the other side as well right here. So if that's all the drives you need, you can just take out the cage in the 3500 and the mount in the 3300 and just do whatever you want in the body of the case. I didn't forget. Pretty sure you did. So that's six drives in total for the 3500, four drive trays and two SSD mounts, and eight total 
and a 3300. Six on the vertical stack and two on the rear SSD mounts. Well, that was confusing, but what did we learn today? Probably that the Fractal Core 3500 is awesome and that you hijacked my unboxing. You hijacked my unboxing of the Core 3300. You were on just an unboxing pirate. Ha! Pirates are awesome. That was a compliment. Ninjas. Basically, both of these cases are excellent choices for inexpensive customization options. The Core 3500 has some more premium features like a side window, an extra 140 millimeter fan in the top, and a fan controller in the back. While the 3300 is actually more versatile with more room for more drives and larger radiators because of that vertical drive mount. MSRP for the 3500 windowed version is $99.99 and the 3300 is $74.99. But guess what? What? We're giving both of these away. Say what? Make sure you subscribe to NZIX and leave a comment on this video to enter. That's it for the double unboxing guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you feel like it and don't forget to subscribe if you're new for more videos like this from NCIX. I already, I already told them to subscribe. Okay, Jack. You know you what? You are just a G-word. Just tell them to subscribe every time. Stop. Stop. Stop.